it's uh, Ken here from the Ken's Tech Tips website. Uh, so I'm here today to talk to you about an application called Instant Heart Rate, uh, which is an uh, application for your Android phone, such as your Samsung Galaxy S2. And what you can do with this application is you can measure uh, your pulse, your heart rate, uh, simply by uh, using your Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, so you see I've got the application open at the moment, and uh, just as I've started recording this video, you notice that my heart rate has gradually been creeping up, uh, probably because this is being recording. So at the moment, uh, my heart rate is actually 93 beats per minute, which is actually quite high. Um, but what you'll notice is that this is actually being measured uh, directly uh, from my mobile phone without, you know, there's no, no additional cables or any additional attachments. Um, it simply uses uh, the features which are already built in in the phone. So, and if you do a lot of exercise or something and you want to measure your heart rate to see how how you've managed to get it, um, this is a really useful application. Uh, so let me uh, let me go through how it works. So basically, the application works by measuring a um, a change in you know the oxygen content of your blood. And every single time your heart heart rate beats, um, there'll be there'll be more oxygen in your blood, and it can measure that. So the way it works is if we turn it around here, see the um, there's a there's a flash. Um, it's a bit difficult to see on the phone, so I'll just uh, I'll just change the angle a bit. But see here, there's a flash um, next to the camera, and what you do is uh, you have to put your finger. Whoops, let's just go back to start measuring again. Um, but you put your finger on top. And what it does is you notice basically because the light is so bright. Uh, what happens is my finger actually reflects some of this light back into the camera. And by measuring the amount of light, which is um, the, the basically there's fluctuations in the amount of light which is reflected back into the camera, uh, which the application is detecting, and that's how it's measuring uh, my, my heart rate. So you see now I've put my, uh, my finger over the, over the light source and it's reflecting light back into the camera. And when I turn it around, you see it's using that to measure my beat so 81 beats per minute. And I get a quite a nice little graph there as well, uh, which also shows the oxygen content in my blood. Um, so this is actually, uh, this is actually based off, um, there's, you know, in the past, uh, or, you know, historically how, uh, you know, one way that people have used to measure heart rate is using something called a, a medical pulse oximeter. Um, so these are, this is, this is a very similar design to essentially what this application does. Um, but, um, essentially, on one side, on one side of your finger, so on, maybe on this side, there'll be a um, a light emitter, maybe an LED or something like that. On the other side of your finger, uh, there'll be something like um, you know there'll be a light sensitive, a light sensitive like um, something that can measure the amount of light which passes through. And traditionally, uh, pulse oximeters like this, um, they they emit the light on one side, measures the amount of light on the other side, and by looking at how much light is transmitted. It uses that to measure the oxygen content in your blood and therefore um, by looking at fluctuations also your heart rate. Um, because of the design of the Galaxy S2, uh, that's very difficult. I mean, um, you know, you, you can't put the light source on a different side to the camera unless you have, you know, an, an, a separate attachment. So instead this application actually looks at the amount of light which is reflected instead of the light which is transmitted through your finger. Um, so light comes out here, it's reflected off your finger depending on the amount of oxygen content inside, goes back into the camera, and then by measuring the fluctuations in that, uh, we can measure the heart rate. Um, so this, the, these medical pulse oximeters um, are, uh, you can look these up on Wikipedia, but this is a general principle of how this application works. So what I'm gonna show you today is, uh, I mean, I've, so I've already shown you a measurement, so I'm just gonna do another one just for, uh, just for the sake of scientific fairness. I'm going to do one more and I'm going to see what my heart rate is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and do, uh, do a bit of exercise. And we're going to come back and we're going to see uh, how my heart rate has changed. So at the moment we're at 78 beat per minute, beat, beats per minute. Um, and we'll come back in uh, a few minutes and we'll see how we do. All right, guys. Well, I'm back. So uh, I've just done a round of uh, 50 press ups. Um, I'm not going to put that in the video because, uh, frankly, you don't really want to see that. Uh, so I've got the instant heart rate application open again. Um, I can certainly feel my pulse going a bit. Um, so we'll use the application again, and we'll see uh, we'll see if it's come up with a different uh, should should come with a higher beats per minute. Um, we'll see how it's doing. So um, 
it takes about 10 seconds to get a lock on your heart rate simply because what it does is it averages it out over the last um, 10 seconds to give you a, um, an average heart rate. Um, so you see at the moment my heart rate is, well it was at 110 beats per minute and now it's dropping slightly because it's been a few seconds since I finished. Um, so it's about 105 at the moment. Um, so you see it, is, it does work, you know, it, it's, um, yeah, I mean you can see it's a lot higher than the rates of about 70 or 80 beats per minute that we were getting earlier. Uh, so yeah, so that's the um, that's the instant heart rate application, and that's available as a free download from Android Market for your Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, or your Android powered device.